Good afternoon and welcome to Patriot Pads. My name is Lake Green. Today we are at the Spy House in Middletown, New Jersey. Let's check it out. So as you can see, we're actually very quite close to the beach. We're literally like maybe a hundred yards, if that, from the waterfront, probably even closer. Um, but this is the Spy House, better known as the Seabrook Wilson House. Uh, it was originally built in the early 1700s. The first structure that was here was built in 1663. But the current structure, the oldest part of this building still standing today, was erected in 1720, likely by Daniel Seabrook. Now the Seabrook family inhabited the property here for over 250 consecutive years. Five generations of the family lived uh, on this property and, and in this house. Um, and the Seabrooks actually once owned a couple hundred acres here. So obviously there's not much left of it now, but they farmed the land here right on the beach. So I wonder, they probably grew crops, definitely probably dealt with salt marsh and other um, things like that, you know, uh, you know using the, the rich uh, ocean, especially the salt marshes for salt, um, which probably was a valuable commodity at the time. Um, but they, they had an agriculture operation here and it was the family homestead. Um, but this building was again, inhabited by the family for five generations until the mid 1800s all right so here's the side angle of the house obviously it's been restored it was restored in the 1960s and 70s but look how beautiful the front porch is the awning there two chimneys and the foundation of this house is field stone it's hard to see with the camera but it is field stone it's been modernized obviously it looks like it's an ac unit in there they use it as an activity center today so the Wilson family came to inhabit this house for about 40 years, a little less, 37 years. William Wilson and his wife, Martha, bought the house in 1855 and inhabited it until the 1890s. Um, and William was a reverend, and he actually was the reverend of the local Baptist church here in Port Monmouth. Middletown area and he was a big advocate of the temperance movement uh, obviously prohibition would happen in the early 1900s um, so I don't think he would see the efforts come to fruition but he nonetheless was a big advocate of temperance but a beautiful home here I love the architecture on this and we're so fortunate to live in New Jersey and see unique early American architecture like this because due to the Dutch and the English populations that came here and settled um, we have a rich blending of the two cultures in terms of architectural design. And we have a lot of homes across the state that have been preserved uh, and are great examples of early mid-Atlantic architecture, especially, specifically, in the New Jersey region. So we're right on the bay here. Right across there is Staten Island. Verrazano Bridge way out in the distance. And then Brooklyn here. And right over here is Sandy Hook. But look how close we are to the water. And look where the home is. It probably wasn't that close 150 years ago. Erosion has definitely played a role here. But you can imagine, for over 100 plus years, the Seabrook family pretty much lived alone on this strip of the Bay Shore here in New Jersey. And this would be the only house you would see for hundreds of acres. Must have been quite the place to live. 
beautiful area. So the person of interest that we want to highlight here at the Spy House is Thomas Seabrook. Thomas Seabrook was a captain in the New Jersey militia during the American Revolution. Uh, and he lived in this house during the War of American Independence. And this is really where the moniker or uh, nickname of the Spy House uh, it, you know, traces back to. People claim that this house was a tavern um, and that people would spy on the British soldiers uh, and report it to the local patriots. That is completely untrue, uh, but Thomas Seabrook did live in the house during the time of the American Revolution and he was a patriot and an officer in the New Jersey militia, of course, uh, a staunch supporter of American independence. The house itself would become an inn and a tavern by the early 19th century, or 1900s, my mistake. And uh, between the years of 1890s to the 19, late 50s, 60s, it was an inn and a tavern. Uh, and by the 60s, it had fallen uh, vacant and in disrepair. And that's when the state swept in and restored the home. Really, it was the local government of Middletown, municipal, municipal government. But today, we have a beautiful example of early New Jersey architecture here with a rich history. Thank you so much for listening. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time on Patriot Paths. I'm Lake Green.